Hello guys and welcome to our FB Live this afternoon, March 10. So tonight, to, this afternoon we're going to have a Hello chat guys, and with a um, LinkedIn Power March. user and her name is Virginia Bautista. Say hello, Virginia. Hi. Hi, Ms. Kat. Good afternoon and good afternoon to everyone and thank you very much for this opportunity. The pleasure is ours. So before we start, um, guys, say hello. Um, you can use the comment section so we can see who's watching. And if you have questions, para ma discuss right natin siya later after my very brief interview. So siguro mga five to ten minutes lang tong interview natin total. So um, make sure that you say hi. Um, so and comment your questions uh, on the comment section of our FB page. So now let's start with a brief introduction about Virginia. Actually, Virginia sent me an email, um, random email actually, and talagang natuwa ako dun sa email. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have a LinkedIn profile and I think it was, I thought it was good enough. But apparently, I am missing out on a lot of opportunities. So, sabi ko, ay nako Virginia, we need to have a chat and we need to have an interview because um, I lead a community of freelancers and I think they will really benefit from what you can share with them. So, without further ado, um, say hello to Virginia. She's currently a managing editor, writer, trainer, and content strategist. And she has been freelancing for nine years. Medyo matagal na yun, di ba? And after six years in the social media industry, Virginia joined a business brokerage firm in the U.S. as a full-time independent contractor. And um, actually, it's a surprising fact is that prior to being a freelancer, Virginia was a professor of communication for over 12 years. Say hello, Virginia. Hi, good afternoon, and thank you for that introduction, Ms. Kat. Ayan, meron na tayong first comment. Hi, Jet. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learn a lot today. So if may question ka, just comment it out. Um, there. So let's start with Sigura Virginia. Baby, you can tell us something about um, your current project. What are you doing? Yeah, so... Yeah, so as what you mentioned right now, I am a full-time independent contractor at, in a business brokerage firm. So our clients are business owners um, from the U.S. who are looking into selling their businesses. So as the managing editor, I have to make sure that all of the content, all of the business summaries are of quality. So I manage a team of writers, editors, and content producers to give all the content to our clients. So it's uh, it's quite challenging also for me because uh, my team of writers and editors are all from the US. So nung una, I was really thinking um, how if English is not even my first language, it is my second language. But eventually I found out it's mm -hmm. easy to work with them. That's yeah. great, ah, wow. Uh, and did you did you mention, baka hindi ko lang nakatch, how big is your team now? Uh, it's just a small team, but then what we do is that we create different content. Uh, we also have an editor from the Philippines. Kasama mm -hmm. ko din siya dito sa Philippines. Uh -huh. Very interesting that uh, Filipina is leading a team of US-based um, writers, so yeah. Uh, proud. So I guess my question, Virginia, I mean, you, you've been a professor for over 12 years. I think you've, you've made it already. You've established a stable career. But what made you jump into freelancing? Yes, you're true. After teaching for 12 years, you feel like I felt like I didn't want to go out of the academy anymore. But then I really wanted to write. First and foremost, I am a writer. So what I did, I started freelancing in 2008. I started as a moonlighter. Malam yung moonlighter, I have a full-time job. So it's like mm -hmm. 8 to 5, I was teaching college students. And then 6 to 9, I remember I was teaching ESL, English as Second Language, to Korean students. And then at night, I pa ako if I have deadlines. So that's what I... Um, then then 
two years later, I decided to go full time to work from home full time. I remember when I resigned, everybody was asking me, uh, "Mom, why are you why are you resigning?" Because twelve years, right? You're already established and very comfortable now. So everybody was asking, "Mom, mag abroad ka? But can I resign?" And of course, I told them, "No, hindi ako mag abroad. I'll just be working from home." And I remember them saying, "Ah, talaga sa bahay lang sayang naman." <laughs> so I don't know if that's good remark or not a good remark. But I know deep in my heart that I wanted to stay with my kids. I have five kids, and it's very hard. You're you're a mom, di ba? You know it's very hard to find someone you can trust. Na pag nasa work ka, um, hirap humanap na kampanti ka with someone at home. So my husband and I decided uh, either you husband ko we stay here or I stay here. And then I saw an opportunity as a social media research analyst. It was interesting. So ayon. I apply ako and I was accepted and I was very happy. What a great story. Una sa lahat, big hats off to you for having five kids and uh, maintaining a successful career. I mean, dalaw pa ng kids ko and feeling ko parang kaya ka kaya. But five, wow. That's amazing. And I think, ano, siguro yung isa talaga nag-stick sa akin is your love for writing. Um, I think that one and your... Um, family what were the key factors that made you to freelancing and those are very very valid um reasons and na- natatawa lang ako kasi recently may nagpost sa group na um sino ba dito yung parang nakaka-feel na pagka sinabi daw nila sa friends nila or sa family that they're full-time freelancers feeling nila um walang steady job or hindi siya walang ginagawa so na na-associate ko lang but but Sabi ko nga eh, don't be bothered by it, but um, may- maybe they just need to uh, be educated about right. yung, the power and the opportunities uh, in freelancing. So yeah, that's, that's a great um, story, you know. Uh, and you've been freelancing for nine years. That's a long time. Um, I guess <laughs> the question is, in those nine years, what was your biggest challenge? Well, my biggest challenge also related to my family and my work, um, managing my time, creating work-life balance. Because, of yes, it's convenient to work at home. Work is very accessible. It's an advantage. But sometimes it's also a disadvantage because if I have deadlines, laptop, I always get tempted to work. And every time I over, I, I, I do overtime, so work, it means I'm taking some time from my family. So after nine years, it's still a struggle because there are times I really want to spend more time with the kids. And sometimes I want to write more and then I want to do more. <laughs> I don't know. Um, of course, uh, I, I already have a goal that I really have to prioritize, you know, health and family. So that's um, so far the biggest challenge. Yeah. Uh, I can relate. Sabi ko nga sa lahat ng naha- nami-meet ko and sa mga new freelancers, like silang win award, sabi ko, uh, once you mm-hmm. get started, addictive yan. So make sure that you still mm-hmm. uh, find the balance na you're you're happy with what you're doing, you're earning, but you still have time to spend those earnings right. with uh, most pe- with the people that matters most, your family That's and of true. course your health. Very important. Mm-hmm. True, true. Um, after that biggest challenge, ano naman siguro was your greatest success in those nine years? With LinkedIn. Um, um, yes. As a freelancer, with LinkedIn. And siguro with LinkedIn na rin. Segue nyo natin uh, okay. uh, since, um, Ever since I became a freelancer, as I was mentioning a while back when we were talking, uh, my path is quite different. My path of being a full-time freelancer because hindi ako dumaan ng Elance, hindi ako dumaan ng freelancer.com, ng mga bidding sites. I encountered Elance before, like two to three years ago. And then when I saw it, I was really attracted kasi ang daming work. Sabi ko, wow, di ako maubusan ng trabaho, ang dami. So what I did, I signed up, created my profile. Tapos when I was ready na to get some projects, I have to bid pala. Because I'm a writer, I'm more an introverted person. I'm not really into selling. So parang na-turn off ako, sabi ko, 
just to get one project, just to write one article, I have to outbid the rest. So that was the last time I went to Elance. I never went back. And then I just encountered Upwork and I didn't realize that Upwork is a rebrand of Elance. Um, so far, my greatest success, number one, I think is um, freedom. When you work in the office, sometimes your creativity mona limit based on the creativity and the uh, innovativeness of your manager. Because people in the office sometimes they have the tendency to tell you, can you do this, do this, do this. There is a hierarchy. It's very difficult to have that freedom of creativity. But if you're a freelancer, all you get is, I need this. Then it's up to us. How, how creative we are, so there's freedom. Number two, if I financial independence for something, if I'm not financially healthy, how can I send all of them to um to schools? So I about I read an article from uh, Tony Robbins, and he said that. We want to be rich not because of the money, but because of the things that we associate with money, like convenience. You know, of course, it should be worth our time. Yung yung spend natin. And number three, I guess, yung best, yung greatest success ko is discovery. When you're a freelancer, when you're on LinkedIn primarily, before you get to create your personal brand on LinkedIn, you have to internalize and you have to know yourself very well. If you don't know yourself, if you don't know what you want, if you don't know your core skills, and you, if you don't know where to go, you cannot attract the right client. Because how do you know client that you're the right fit if you don't even know who you are? So you discovery internally and discovery externally. Um, I created my profile in 2008. But for six years, wala lang. <laughs> Parang uh, hindi ko siya ginagalo for six years. So what did I get? Nothing. What did I expect? Nothing. Because I wasn't doing anything. But I became active on LinkedIn in 2014 because I joined the social media industry in 2010. So it became interesting to me. And since then, no una excited ako because I'm receiving job offers, job invitations. So sabi sa sa ako, uy, someone is inviting me in China, in this country. Excited ako, pero nung huli, nung bandang huli na, parang every month kasi I will receive them. And sometimes those are already distractions na lang. Yung feeling mo na if you don't have a clear goals, if you don't have clear paths, you will have a tendency na mag -yes ka to all of them. But if you know yourself very well, if you set your career, you can make a decision. Is it for me? If it is, if it is then yes. Is it for me? If it's a no, then no. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. So why, I guess my question is why LinkedIn? I mean, why did you decide to um, spend or invest your time in LinkedIn? And why not Upwork? Why not um, other um, um, platforms? Um, Upwork, definitely not my choice because, um, but I think this is my, this is something that is wrong with me before. Because I was thinking I'm a writer. I don't know how to sell myself. I don't know how to build. I don't know how to propose. But later I realized every freelancer is a marketer. But then if, if as a freelancer, you always find yourself bidding, proposing, looking for the next project, it means that you are not exerting any effort to market yourself. We need inbound marketing. We should let them chase us. After all, we have the skills and they have a need. It shouldn't be like we have a need and they have, they have something to offer. It's like mm -hmm. we have to fill in the gap. So one of the, I think one of the best things that happened to me also in LinkedIn is that in a number one in current job ko is that I have feeling ko I have to go abroad to, to the service salary in a six figure every month. There was mm -hmm. a lot of temptation, I have to tell you, and sa, mga kamagana, like, but di ka mag abroad, ganyan, ganyan. But I don't want to leave my family. So when I had to discover that I could do it, 
there was an HR specialist who invited me invited me to do training. So sabi niya, um, we're looking for a trainer on public speaking and business writing. Are you are you doing these trainings? That time, hindi naman ako nagtitrain ng mga professionals eh. Oh, yeah, I train students, I train fellow teachers, but not professionals, especially accountants sila. But mm -hmm. I remember a quote, when someone offered you an opportunity and you don't know how to do it, say yes and do your homework. So that's what I did. Hindi talaga ako nagtitrain ng professionals. I don't know accounting. I don't know how to deal with accountants. But I said yes. Sabi ko nito train ako kahit hindi. So we did the talk, and then after that, uh, natuloy yung training, and they paid me like um, five figures, like twenty twenty thousand in one day. So two days yun. I don't know if that's big or that's small. But for me, as first timer, um, aside from that amount, I realized I can do something else. So now I start. I wouldn't have discovered if not um, for my LinkedIn account. Wow. Yeah, that's, I think, a good um, experience from LinkedIn. I mean, usually kasi nga, like what Tom was saying, kala niya, it's more of, let, let's show Tom's um, comment. Uh, I never, I never, ayan. Ang sabi niya, I never used LinkedIn for searching freelance jobs. I thought LinkedIn is for different jobs lang. Yun kasi usually na receive kong invites. How do we shift our profile in LinkedIn from corporate type to freelancer type? There is no, there is no such thing as type of profile, whether it's corporate or freelancer. You are a freelancer. You can position yourself as a freelancer there are you have there are techniques eh? there are strategies which i was testing in the test ko yan for two years i started being active in 2014 no una parang wala lang then i realized ah it's not easy there's no guessing game on linkedin when you know the tools when you know the strategies when you know the available features it's easy you can position yourself the way you want it um for example a um, few years ago, when I was still teaching, I positioned myself as a communication professor. So I got an invite from a professor from the University of South Florida. And he asked me if I wanted to collaborate in his um, research. The new research that he published in International Journal of Business Studies. Hmm. Sa akadim kasi, if you have international publication, that's a big thing. Tapos, mm -hmm. nung hindi na ako nagtuturo, ni-revise ko na naman yung LinkedIn profile ko, ni-re-optimize ko siya, and I position myself as a freelancer. I-try nyo po, when you have your LinkedIn, lagay nyo yung freelance, the term na freelance ay yung headline in the next interview. Interview ba yun? In the next, uh, ano siguro natin, I can teach you all of these strategies. And hindi lang siya for corporate. This is a misconception. So, yeah, we're we're miss we're getting, yeah, sorry. Hindi ko lang na-catch yung last part. Parang you said, add freelancer sa, sa my title section. Tama ba? Ng profile? Yeah. yeah. Because you can optimize your LinkedIn profile. And there are parts of your LinkedIn profile that you have to optimize and include keywords. Do those... If, I'm sure you know SEO, Merding SEO, so LinkedIn, so that your name will appear on top of the search. LinkedIn has a very powerful search tool. And these advanced search tools are being used by recruiters. When recruiters search, for example, like search sila ng graphic designer, marami silang makukuhang result. But if we're using a free account and we search graphic designer, Ang lalabas lang na, sa search natin are those people who are in our network. So if you only have 100 connections, ang makukuha mo lang result, yung connection mo na 100, and yung mga connections nila at connections pa nila, we call it first layer, second layer, up to third layer of connections. You don't... So the more connections you have, the more exposure you can have. So yun yung mga tips... Uh, on LinkedIn 
and definitely you can position yourself as a freelancer if you want as a consultant if you want yeah by just optimizing okay yeah so mm -hmm. and that means tips none for optimizing our profile so apparently it's LinkedIn is a step has an SEO of its own. Actually, from mm, my right. friends, ang alam ko they use they really use LinkedIn for lead generation. So, um, mm, ito right. naman ibang angle naman because this time we're marketing and optimizing ourselves to get more clients. Um, we have another question, right. but siguro before I um post um V's question, um, because we are. You know, this this broadcast is for freelancing.ph. No, why freelancers freelancers care about LinkedIn? Um, first, LinkedIn is free, and all of us freelancers we need to have a personal brand. It's no longer an option. You know what? If you're a freelancer and you don't have a personal brand. You will have one, whether you do something about it or not. Now you want to know how? Go to Google.com. You may, if you're, if you're there, all of you are there. You open a browser and then go to Google.com. Type your name. If you like what you see, then good. If you don't like what you see, then you have to do something about it. Even if you like what you see, I mean the results. But if you are not getting any revenue, if you're not getting any money from that, if you're not getting any opportunity. has high domain authority. Naga appear sa taas. So kung polish ng LinkedIn mo and someone search for your name, it will appear there. And number two, as freelancers, alam natin ng buhay ng free, most freelancers is very unstable. You don't know baka bukas wala na si client o kaya uh, biglang nag iba yung mood niya and something like that. We need a steady stream of income. And to do that, we need to have a strong brand. Number two, we want to charge. Ang nakikita ko kasing concern ng mga freelancers, Ms. Kat, is that they don't know how to charge. Uh, how to charge. What to charge. Ang nakikita ko nga may question dun sa bago siyang freelancer and then he or she doesn't know how much to charge. So tinatanong niya magkano ba dapat. There are two ways kasi to, to charge. I mean, to put a pricing on yourself. We have what we call fair market value. And what we have what we call strategic value. Fair market value and strategic value. Okay. The fair market value, for example, when we go to a court, and I'm here that we are offering services. What is our value? How much should we charge? Usually, they will go to Upwork and then silipin nila yung charge ng iba. Oh, magkano ba siya charge nito? Magkano ba siya charge nito? Oh, sa US, ang tataas naman. Oh. Pilipino ako, sa Pilipinas ako, baka naman nakakaya mag $50 per hour ako, baka hindi ako pansinin, something like that. Yung mga nasa US, you know what, you just don't know. But those people in the US, mas malaki yung problema nila. Bakit? They think they have the skills. But clients on Upwork usually will not choose them. Dahil napakataas ng rate nila. Tayo mababa, pero um, maraming, like sa Pilipino, maraming skilled na freelancers. So we need to know fair market value. It means what is your value based on the market? Titingnan mo yun eh, kasi kung masyadong malayo yung rate mo, talagang hindi ka papansin kung masyadong mataas. Kung masyado na pupunta ka sa Divisoria or pupunta ka sa Shangri-La kung may budget ka. So yun yung strategic, um, uh, yun ang fair market value. Strategic mm -hmm. value, it means that your rate depends on the need of the client. So, kahit, for example, ako, I have three clients. I have to talk to each client first. What are your pain points? What are your problems? And how can I help you solve the problem? What value can I bring to the table? Kung sa client A, ang dami kong value sa kanya. For example, um, he needs to have a, a blogs every day. Kailangan polish yan. Tapos kailangan nyo pa ng um, social media management, social media analytics, and I can do this all. So pwede kong magtaas ng charge sa kanya. Sa isa naman, kailangan niya ng social media management. So yun lang yung pain points. So we have to weigh in. And um, very important yung personal brand. Because when they see that you have a strong brand, if you flaunt what you have, then they will respect you. 
ganito ka so yan ta yung isa meron siyang LinkedIn, may website siya. By the way, don't discount a website. Ah. LinkedIn and website go together. Best combination. May website, may LinkedIn. There's a personal brand. Siyempre yun ang pipili ng client. Because mm -hmm. he will be respected more. So, yan, maybe we can elaborate more <laughs> next time. Yeah, great, great insights na yan. Sige, um, so we'll have time for comments. Um, we have another question from V. Mm -hmm. How are they able to see you? I am when there's a lot, I mean, when there's a lot of profiles, uh, how do they know that you're looking for a job? What's the question? I mean, I mean, when there's a lot of profiles. Because the profiles profile sa, sa uh, LinkedIn, how can the client... Mm -hmm. Find you, I guess. How do how would they know that um, you're looking for a job? Okay. Talent uh, is already hired. In na inisip nila, the best talent are passive candidates. They're not looking for jobs. So recruiters are trying to find those who are not looking for jobs. Now to answer your question, again, this is part of optimizing your profile. There's also uh, one feature on LinkedIn that you can turn on. Meron tong option don whether you want to inform the recruiter that um, that you're open to possibilities or or not. Pwede mo siyang yes or no. And when you optimize your profile, if you look at your LinkedIn profile, makikita nyo dun yung mga skills. Familiar kayo. Di ba merong skills? So yung sa profile ko, yung top three skills ko nandun ang editing, writing, social media. Now, one way to optimize yan is that yung skills mo, core skills mo should appear on top five. Because when recruiters search for talent, and you have a lot of endorsement dun sa skill na yun, a-appear ka sa search result. Again, it's about optimizing all the all the parts of your profile. And consistency, you have to show up every day, every other day. It can't be like kung kailan nyo lang feel. So you have to create and curate content. You have to establish your brand. You have to give value to them. Uh, I have, I am seeing a lot of Filipinos, particularly yung nasa insurance. Alam mo yung makikipag-connect sila sa inyo, tapos i-accept mo. Tapos after three minutes, sasend ka nila ng sales pitch. People on LinkedIn are not interested in sales. They don't like to buy. They go to LinkedIn because they want professional relationship. So these people, I think they don't know what they're doing. You go, we go to LinkedIn, we add value to other people's life. When you add value to them, they recognize you as a thought leader. You become respected. Maraming ganon. So, hindi siya like, we go to LinkedIn and then may sales speech na agad tayo. There's a way to optimize the profile so that you will appear on top of the research. Uh, search results. Search results. Yeah, I like that. Um, where people go to LinkedIn to build connections. Oh to create professional relationship. So hard selling right. is a no-no, guy. Uh, I also get uh, get those private messages, so I can relate. Uh, rate Maybe. display. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you also display your rate in LinkedIn? I think that's a no, right? There's no way you can display your rate on LinkedIn because you are creating a brand. You're not doing a sales talk. Turn off mm -hmm. the sales. Turn off your mga rates on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has a platform for freelancers. This is for U.S. Um, U.S. residents. I attended a webinar from LinkedIn before in Virginia. Can you say that again? They have, uh, you said there's a platform for freelancers in LinkedIn. Siguro less than two years. It's called ProFinder. And dyan ang mga freelancers, but as of now, it's open only to U.S. clients. But okay. th the difference is like this. Kung nasa Upwork ka, iba yung market. And you will attract different types of clients. 
when you're on LinkedIn, parang equal, equal lahat yun eh, regardless of your location. Hindi, it doesn't matter, are you from the Philippines, are you from India, yan ang mga paborito ng mga clients eh. Philippines, India, Pakistan, I think for Philippines, they like us. Nakikita ko rin sa mga conversations. Um, clients like us because of how we work. Talagang loyal. You know, I'm part, I just want to mention, um, Ms. Kat, I'm part of another closed group here on Facebook. And those people are, most of them are from the U.S. And they are like CEOs, managers, directors. And one of them mentioned onlinejobs.ph. Because ang major pain, they need virtual assistants. But they need, they want virtual assistants that they can trust. Kasi sila mm -hmm. din nagda-doubt sila na baka kumuha sila tas paltak. Ano yung ganun? And then na natuwa ako kasi one of them suggested onlinejobs.ph. As may wow. nag-suggest naman kay Chris Docker. Mm -hmm. And then they were talking, they didn't know I was a freelancer, pero I was joining the conversation. So nakakatuwa because they were saying na um, this is reliable, this is decent. So yun yung mga terms na narinig ko. And they like Filipino virtual assistants. So kung may mga VA side na narinig, nakikinig ngayon, they really like um, the way we work because they said that um, they do their own research and then very reliable and loyal. That's so good. yung rate, hindi siya dinidisplay sa LinkedIn because it's not a marketplace. Okay. It's a social networking platform for professionals. Right. Okay, so the next question is from Lou. Hi, Lou. I never had any LinkedIn account. Microsoft recently acquired LinkedIn. Mm. Are there improvements from the post-Microsoft LinkedIn? And what is the value proposition of having a LinkedIn account to a freelancer? Medyo na touch na natin yan. Are there changes, I guess? Um, there's no, um, there's, there are no announcements yet on what the changes will be. But definitely, because LinkedIn acquired Lina.com for one billion. So, kaya integrate ng LinkedIn ang learning. So, depending on your profession, LinkedIn will suggest what videos you should be watching to add more skills, to add more value to you. And then that's right, um, Microsoft acquired LinkedIn June 2016 lang, like for 26 billion. Ang implication nito is that now Microsoft has a really powerful data. Kasi ang data ng LinkedIn is a lot. LinkedIn's mm -hmm. mission is to connect all the professionals from around the globe. Mm -hmm. I think he integrated Microsoft Ngayon, may chat na yung this March. As nakita ko, may chat na siya ngayon. So, you can directly communicate with a client or someone else that you want to discuss with on LinkedIn. And definitely, there are so many plans because it's Microsoft. They will not buy LinkedIn for $26 billion for cash for no reason at all. So, it, that, makes, uh, that means that there are more opportunities for, for all of us as freelancers. Great. So I really have to visit my LinkedIn profile. I didn't know na may chat na ngayon. Okay. Guys, um, we're close. We're, we're 30, 30 minutes in. So siguro last two, three questions na lang. So make sure you post your questions now para masagot siya ni Virginia. Um, I, our next question is from Ira. What are your top five tips in optimizing your profile? Before you answer, Virginia, I, I think we missed this. I asked Virginia earlier if she is a premium mm -hmm. LinkedIn user. And you'll be surprised. Sige, are you a premium LinkedIn user? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not a LinkedIn a premium user. I tried premium, premium, premium account. But actually, premium account is only for those people who are really looking for jobs. But if you look at the features, it isn't that helpful. You can create your brand. You can use it to find clients. You can use it for clients to find you even if you're using the free account. So that's the second thing. It's free. It's there. Why not use it? Mm -hmm. Imagine kasi yung mission ng LinkedIn is to connect all the professionals. LinkedIn will do that. So we're among the professionals. So why don't we make... A top, ayan, uh, ko na ba yung top? <laughs> top five. 
Oh, yung very brief ano, uh, answer na lang siguro because we're running out of time and we have uh, one more question. Okay, so let me give the top three. Okay lang yung major top three. If mm -hmm. you want to succeed on, yeah, sorry. If you want to succeed on LinkedIn, remember these three things. Number one, you have to be found. You have to make this happen for you to be successful. Remember, you cannot succeed overnight. Ako, ang dan kong testing na ginawa. Kaya nga yung mga test na ginawa ko, yung mga tweaks na ginawa ko, how I wish I could share with all of you para hindi nyo pagdaanan yung mga test na ginawa ko. No? So, for you to succeed, you have to do these things. Number one, you have to be found. When you get found by a potential client or a recruiter, make sure that your profile is prepared, meaning optimized, complete, and it shows the best of you as a professional. Now, if the client finds you, for example, nakita yung profile mo, ang ganda and very impressive, but the problem is this client may not be ready to hire you. Diba may mga gano'n na sakto na sana, gusto mo talagang mag-work for Microsoft, nakita ka niya, pero hindi naman siya ready to hire kasi pwede mo tanggalin niya yung staff niya para ilagay ka niya. Siyempre, no. So what you need to do, when clients are not ready, you have to be remembered. What does this mean? You have to show up every day, curate content, be a thought leader, curate and create content. So when... to be remembered. Number three, you have to be respected. When you're morning, you have, when you go there, you are a professional. So you have to make sure that you project yourself as a professional, create content, um, curate content. So for example, VA ka, and you're targeting CEOs who need VAs, you can actually publish on LinkedIn and give them some tips on why they need VAs. So pag nabasa nila yung article mo, ah, okay lang pala na VA, no? Kontakin ko nga to. And just to add, um, Miss Kat, remember yung, remember yung article that was, that you published on freelancing that? Mm -hmm. um, the following day on my LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn account, Yun nga yung nakwento ko sa'yo, after like two hours, may almost 2,000 views na siya. And so far, 6,000 views. And what mm -hmm. else did I get from there? Three days later, I got a job invite. This one is from a LinkedIn lead specialist from Dubai. So sabi niya, uh, I like your article and I'm looking for a content specialist long term. Uh, then yun na nag invite na siya, sabi ko. Okay, so masaya ako doon, pero actually, I replied to her because I want to make sure na he, she will remember me. Pero mm -hmm. hindi ko muna siya masyadong pinaasa because I don't know what to do with her yet. Yun kasi yung problem ko, Ms. Kat, pala, the, the reason I joined um, groups, because I want to share all of these jobs with the other freelancers. So, ang dami kasi nila eh. Um, yeah, yeah. So, ganun karami opportunities uh, sa LinkedIn. And wow, grabe yung nangyari na yun na just because of that article, you already got an invite. So, it's all really about um, personal branding and showing that you know what you're talking about. Diba? Correct. Okay, correct, so yeah. siguro last two questions na lang. Over time na tayo from mm -hmm. my... Ay, sorry. Um, can we integrate Linda Learnings to LinkedIn profiles? Definitely, definitely. You have two ways to use uh, Linda. You can use lynda.com and integrate on your LinkedIn, or you can use LinkedIn and have a premium account and then use lynda.com at the same time. As a LinkedIn user, you have to be a premium account user to access all the videos on lynda.com. But if you prefer the Linda lang, lynda.com lang. It's called. I guess yung question, yung follow up question ko rin siguro na. Kasi upwork, like, for instance, I get a certification from HubSpot. I can publish it as an as an official certificate in upwork. Is that something that um, can be done in LinkedIn? Definitely, definitely. All the certifications can be posted there. All your publications, you can show up, you can use Rich Media. 
everything that you have done in the past that you think will create and make your brand a strong one? Definitely, yes. Okay. So I hope, Mylene, that answered your question. Um, since I think this will be our final question, guys. Uh, from Tom, I was never able to maximize LinkedIn, free one month premium account. There are there were free courses pala, including in the premium where you get certification spa. Did you experience receiving the same offer for the second time? After a few months, I don't understand. Did you what, what does it mean? Did you experience receiving the same offer? Which offer? I think yung free premium account. Free what the bad they offer free one month premium account. Uh, uh -huh. it comes with free courses and certification. So um were you able to experience that or siguro uh yo nago offer ba ulit si LinkedIn ng uh -huh. Second time nago offer. I you mean hindi niya na maxima. I so nag-go home pero I think try mo ulit even without the offer you can always try it try mo, don't wait for the offer you could go to your LinkedIn and then just click try premium for free and then um, you can have that for free if you haven't used it pero kung nagamit mo na baka sabihin na you already have used it Pero, okay. pero sayang so, kasi even if it's just free, marami siyang functions. Makukuha mo certificates, tapos you can display it on your profile. And you can also watch offline. Pwede mo siyang i-download sa app and you can watch offline. Alright. Okay, thank you, Virginia. Um, I promise to keep the interview short, uh, about 30 minutes. But the good <laughs> news is we'll be having uh, a full hour, uh, an hour and a half webinar um, by the end of March. So we're targeting to do it by March 24th. Uh, that's also a Friday, mm. 5 p.m. This time, mas um, proseso na talaga yung ituturo ni Virginia. Step-by-step -step process on how to um improve and optimize your linkedin profile to get clients as in actionable tips to get clients yeah. okay so aside from that aside from the webinar uh, virginia will also be offering um one-on-one -on -one consultation so that's exciting um that's a paid uh, offer but we'll be raffling off um a few few slots for the one-on-one -on -one sessions with Virginia. So um, stay tuned, guys. Um, make sure that you uh, you stay up to date dun sa ating freelancing.fit.ph page and group because we'll be announcing more details about the webinar um, with Virginia. So gusto ko lang talagang maumpisahan na because I know na even me, freelancing for a while now, but hindi ko nga nagagamit yung LinkedIn to the best of its uh, <laughs> capabilities, kumbaga. Sab na yung nag-snoop nga si Virginia dun sa meetup and narinig niya yung question about LinkedIn. Uh, you, can you clarify that, ano, Virginia? So, before we end. Um, yeah, I was um, listening and then I think somebody said that she wasn't using LinkedIn because um, she thought that you can only Necessarily, I've been using LinkedIn for three years, and it's a free account, and I'm getting a lot from it. Kaya lang po hindi siya overnight. Ha? I'm not giving you any magic during the webinar. I'm going to give you the tricks that worked for me. It may work for you, but you really have to commit yourself. Parang ano kasi yung inbound marketing consistency is very important. It's not an overnight. But it pays well. I mean, ang ganda ng feeling mo if you have a steady stream of income. Di mo pino problema kahit mawala si client. And then nagkaroon ka rin, nagiging influencer ka din. Yan yung that's what I want to teach as well. How can you create a personal brand using LinkedIn as a free account and eventually become an influencer? When you're an influencer, you can raise your rates and nobody will complain. And there are tricks to do that on LinkedIn. Wow, I am amazed and shocked na for someone with 10,000 connections, nearly 10,000 connections na um, she's using a free account pala. So that's 
what you can do with the free account. So, dapat talaga nating mag dapat talaga na tayong mag-invest sa LinkedIn. Um yeah, there were a few more questions, but guys, uh you watch this video <laughs> later. Um we will have a full scale As I mentioned, there will be a one-on-one -on -one consultation and we'll be raffling off a few free slots. So guys, um, stay tuned. We'll give you more updates. And Virginia, thank you very much for spending 45 minutes of your time with us oh. at the freelancing.ph <laughs> community. We really learned a lot. Um, yeah, you may mga comments. Yeah, excited na those for the webinar. Yay! Yeah. Sige. Um, thanks, everyone. Um, I'll see you soon. And thank you, Virginia. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.